Hi, in my last video, I showed you how to create a basic loan in SAP. Today, we will see how to process incoming loan payments. Usually, you receive loan payments and see them on your bank statements. You can ask your bank for an electronic bank statement and use it to automatically apply loan payments. SAP can process these statements and apply the payments to the corresponding loans based on payment references. It can also post other items such as bank charges. In short, the EBS allows you to process incoming payments in an automatic and safe way. Once a bank statement is read and the payments applied to the corresponding loans, the payments will clear the loan's open items. Open items are cleared depending on their, on their dates and item priority. You can customize which open items should be cleared first. Now, I'll go to SAP and open a loan. This happens to be the loan we created in our last example. And I will check the open items. Here we can see we have an open item, a debit position, an open item of around 2,800. And I also happen to have an EBS, which I got from the bank. And we see here that a payment amount of 2,000 is present in the EBS. And we can also see references to the loan. we see the loan number as reference. So now I'll close the EBS and go ahead to the EBS processing function. Okay, so this is the EBS processing function. I will select the correct format. In my case, it's the Swift MT940. and I'll select the file, the EBS. I'll select these options so that the EBS is posted automatically and run the function. Okay, so here we can see that the EBS has been read correctly and we can also see that the system has posted to the corresponding loan. Here we can see that it has found the corresponding loan. Okay. So now I can go back to my loan. And see in the cash flow that I now have a payment of 2000 in the corresponding date. And also, I can see in the open items that the remaining open item is less than what it had been before the payment. So as you can see, the EBS function allows you to apply a payment really quickly and in a safe way. There are other functions, more advanced functions for EBS processing. I'll be covering those in next videos. Until the next time.